Hey everybody, I am going to make a little tutorial here to show you how to make these funky fun little headbands that are great for working out, they're great for just wearing around the house or to spice up an outfit. So first things first, I'm going to tell you what you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need some fabric. Um, the best kind of fabric to have is like a lycra material, something that um, you know people use for swimsuits and workout stuff. Um, in the fabric store yesterday where I was at Joanne, they called it performance fabric. Um, and um, what you do need to have is a is fabric that it has a four-way stretch, meaning you can stretch the fabric from side to side and you can stretch it up and down. So it needs to be a four-way stretch so that so that it's nice and stretchy for you. Um, don't be surprised at the price point of lycra and swimsuit material. It can be upwards of $19.99 a yard. Luckily you're only going to need a um, length of fabric um, that is, or a width I should say, a fabric that's about four and a half inches which is technically an eighth of a yard. So you could get by with, if you're just making two you could get by with um, just buying an eighth of a yard of it. Um, you and then the width, the length of that fabric, the width technically of that fabric is um, 58 inches. So you should be able to get actually three out of there if you bought an eighth of a yard. Um, so we're gonna get going. Oh, the rest of the things that you need: you need a scissors, you need a sewing machine, you may or may not need some pins. And you need something, um, if you have a rotary cutter and a ruler and a cutting mat, it's a lot easier um, because you are going to make, you are going to cut lengths of fabric that are either 19, 20, or 21 inches long. And um, I just wear one that's 19 because I have a smaller head so um, if you um, depending on how big your head size is and I'll I'll put the measurements probably down in the comments but uh, yeah either either 19 20 or 21 depending on your head size and you can measure your head with with um, with a piece of string or whatever in a ruler so so first you're gonna cut um, your lengths of fabric four and a half inches wide and either 19, 20, or 21 inches long. And all you're going to do is you're going to fold, actually I'm going to adjust my screen here so that you can see. Okay, so you are going to fold these right sides together. So right side to right side. You'll notice that um, if you do end up using a um, solid color, that it's that there is really no right side and wrong side to a solid color for lycra. So it doesn't really matter um, which sides you put together. But for the prints, there usually is a, a right side and a wrong side. So then you're just going to put those two sides together and you're going to put that under your presser foot. And what I use is I use a stretch stitch on my machine. I'll show it to you once we're done here and you'll see what it looks like. But um, in your manual, unless you know it or it's labeled, there should be something that says like for stretch, a stretch fabric. And also you need a ballpoint um, needle versus a regular standard needle because it'll help with that stretchy material. I don't have a walking foot on, but you could certainly do a walking foot. It might be easier. Um, it might be easier with your machine. Uh, and stretch less if you use a walking foot. Okay, so here we go. And so you're just making one seam right here with right sides together, right there. And then what you're going to, in my stitch, if you can see it, that's what my stretch stitch looks like. It might look like, like something different for you. Then I'm going to turn it just so to the right side. I'm going to kind of crease this um, over. And then all we're going to do is try fold this. So we're going to fold it over once to meet 
sort of in the middle, or a third of the way, I should say. And then we're going to fold it over again and meet it so that you have something that looks like that. So you've just folded it in thirds. And then we're going to make one straight stitch right on that seam that you have. I shouldn't say straight stitch. You're going to do your, stre your stretch st stitch. But it's going to be just one quick straight line. And you're going to cut the ends. You can literally make this from start to finish from cutting it to a finished product in less than five minutes. So that's great. Okay, so now we have this. And um, just to kind of finish it off nicer, um, I am going to make stitch a little box across there just so that it's a little bit more sturdy on one end. And what you can do if you'd like is you could measure, um, if you wanted to, you could measure with a ruler um, and do like an inch, an inch, an inch, an inch, an inch. Um, and of course my ruler isn't right here, but um, I actually have some markings on my machine, so I just use those. So here we go. And I'm just being careful that the that it doesn't get caught on there, the excess fabric. And I'm just halfway done here with my box. Cut my strings off here, my thread, I should say, and that's it. It's done. That's what it looks like. And on the right side, oops, on the right side, it looks like, oops, like that. And then um, the beauty of these is just that you can then, you know, you can wear it as thin as you want. Um, because you've got this one end that's kind of the stabilized end that goes behind on the back of your head, then you can make this as, as thin or as thick as you want to wear. So that's it. It's super easy. Literally from start to finish, like I said, takes less than five minutes. Um, if you have everything ready to go and um, if you do not want to make one of these you don't have access to a machine or whatever just drop a comment um, down below I have several fabrics right now that I'm kind of sitting on um, that I could use up so let me know and I can make you one all right take care hopefully this helped